The Olympus XA2 is a fully automatic, compact 35mm film camera. The XA2 is very easy to use and can easily fit in your pocket or a small bag. It's a great camera for someone who wants to get into film photography but hasn't quite learned how to shoot a photo in manual yet. This camera is often compared to its more advanced counterpart, the Olympus XA. Both the Olympus XA and XA2 are about the same size. Both take 35mm film and they have similar controls. They're also both compatible with the A11 flash, which you can put onto the side of your camera in order to add more light to a scene. The XA2 has a lens with the same focal length or zoom level as the XA, which is 35 millimeters. The main difference between the two lenses is that the lens on the XA2 has a maximum f-stop of f3.5, which lets in less light than the lens on the XA, which has a maximum f-stop of f2.8. The XA2 only has zone focusing, which limits you to focusing at three specific distances, unlike the XA, which has a range finder focus, allowing you to focus at the exact distance that you want. The XA2 has a shutter speed range of about 1 750th of a second to 2 full seconds, while the XA maxes out at about 1 500th of a second. The only indicator of what shutter speed is being used on the XA2 is when this green LED lights up in the viewfinder. This indicates that the shutter speed is going to be 1 30th of a second or slower. The Olympus XA2 takes two LR44 button batteries that are loaded into the bottom of the camera like this. You can check to see if the batteries in your camera have enough power by moving the lever on the bottom of your camera to battery check. If the batteries are good, it will emit a steady tone and light up the red LED. You can load film by first lifting up on the film rewind knob in order to open the back of the camera. Load the film cartridge into the left side of the camera and then move the rewind knob down in order to hold the cartridge in place. Next, take the film tab and slide it into one of the slots in the take-up spool on the right side of the camera. Make sure the sprocket holes are lined up with the gear on the bottom here. If the film advance wheel isn't moving, you may have to slide the camera open and trigger the shutter to allow you to advance it forward. If you're having trouble getting it to advance forward still, even though you're moving the wheel, you can put some pressure with your thumb onto the gear here as this is necessary in order to move the film forward. Once the film is loaded, go ahead and close the back of the camera until you hear a click. You can slide the camera open and push the shutter button a few times until your shot counter reads one. The counter on my camera is broken, so it's not moving. So when I load film, I just advance the film once or twice and then start taking photos. Make sure to change the ISO switch on the front of the camera to the ISO of the film you have loaded. You can also change it to something different if you want to push or pull your film. Sliding the camera open is what turns it on. The only things you really need to worry about when taking a photo with this camera is composing the shot in the viewfinder, as well as choosing which focus setting to use. Since the camera uses zone focusing, you only have three options for what distance to put in focus. It's extremely important that you memorize these distances and what those distances look like in real life. In my personal experience with this camera, I found it very easy to miss focus if you're not paying attention. The Olympus XA2 is designed so that every time you close the camera, it resets the zone focusing to the middle setting, which shows a symbol of two people standing. You can also see that this setting is colored orange. This indicates that Olympus thinks it's a good general setting, good for most photos in most situations. And you can also see orange settings similar to this on the XA model here and here. This focus setting is good for subjects that are about four and a half feet or further in front of the camera. It's likely that most of the shots you take with this camera will use this focus setting. If your subject is closer than four and a half feet, then you need to use the focus setting with the symbol of two people uh, and their head and shoulders. This setting will allow you to keep things in focus as close as about three feet from the camera. 
anything closer will always be out of focus. If you know you'll be shooting a photo of a landscape or anything further away than about nine feet, then you need to use the focus setting with the symbol of a mountain. The truth is, is that you need to shoot a few rolls through this camera and get them developed in order to get a good feel for what focus setting to use when. You can take a picture by pressing the shutter button when the camera's dust cover is slid open. The shutter button is very sensitive and the shutter itself is very quiet, making the X-A2 an excellent camera for more stealthy shots. It's also pretty easy to operate with only one hand. Make sure not to press on the shutter button too hard as this can damage it. Once you take the photo, you can both advance the film and prime the shutter by turning the film advance wheel. When shooting with the Olympus X-A2, you wanna make sure not to block the lens or the light meter with your fingers. This can be very easy to do as the viewfinder is separate from the lens and it's also a very small camera. The Olympus X-A2 also has a 10 second timer function, which can be turned on by flipping the switch on the bottom. Now, when you push the shutter button, the camera will count down for 10 seconds and go to a different higher pitch right before taking the photo. It also flashes this red LED. To use a flash, you first attach it to the side of the camera using the little screw mount. You wanna make sure to only use the 100 or the 400 setting on the flash, but not the full setting, as that setting only works on the XA model. Setting at the 400 will give you the lowest power, a nice little pop to help add some light to your scene. If you're not sure what to do, just match the setting 400 or 100 to whatever the closest ISO is on the film you've used. You can turn the flash on by moving the flash lever at the bottom of the camera. This will pop up the flash indicator and that will glow orange like this once the flash capacitor is fully charged. You will also see a tiny flash indicator in the viewfinder appear. To turn the flash off, simply push down on the flash indicator. Even though the Olympus X-A2 seems limited in how much control you can have over the camera, there are some ways you can expand what the camera can do. The first is to use the ISO control, this switch in the front here, while shooting uh, in order to change the shutter speed of the camera to make it faster or slower. For example, if you're shooting with a 100 ISO film, but you want the fastest shutter speed possible for a particular shot, you can change the ISO to 800. This will underexpose the photo, but it will help to freeze movement better. And depending on lighting conditions, you may be able to recover the photo. You can also decrease the ISO control below the film's ISO in order to overexpose the current photo you are taking. Either way, just remember to set the ISO control back to normal when you're done. The X-A2 also has the capability to shoot in bulb mode, meaning the shutter door can stay open for as long as you like for long exposures. The camera was not specifically designed to do this, so the method is a little weird. In order to get the shutter to stay open continuously, you first have to fire the shutter, then quickly move the lever on the bottom of the camera into the battery testing position. Some ways you can make the camera do its maximum shutter speed are things like lowering the ISO all the way down to 25 or putting your finger or a piece of tape over the light sensor, which is right here, while you activate the shutter. So right now the shutter door is open and will stay open until I move this lever back into place. One of the downsides is that it emits this continuous annoying tone and it's not exactly easy to make it do a bulb mode, but it does work. You'll be able to tell that you've reached the end of the roll by both a counter reading as well as an increased resistance to advancing the film. Make sure to pay attention to what frame you're on and don't put too much force on the film advance wheel as this can cause the film to rip or the camera to be damaged. You can rewind the film by first pushing the rewind button on the bottom of the camera and then flipping up and turning the rewind knob to get the film back into the canister. Once you've felt that the film is all the way rewound back into its container, you can lift up the knob to open the back of the camera and take the film out. If you have any questions on how to use the Olympus X-A2 or anything else, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more photography videos. Thanks for watching.